So you speak about Gabriel's daughter. I had the pleasure of listening <coughs> to Daniel talk to his daughter in the green room. Yeah, and as a journalist, you tried to wriggle some information. Yes, I said to his daughter, but you know, you notice things. I always say these interviews, these wonderful long form interviews, give us a chance to get to know each other, which we never could in a three minute CNN interview. So I noticed how he greeted his daughter, which was, hello, darling. <laughs> and then you could hear her fondly. You can't fabricate that kind of fondness. So Lily, your daughter, and Gabriel's daughter, and of course, they, you have twins, they have twins. So tell us about daughters. Yeah. You know, um, my daughter, unfortunately, she looks a lot like me. Um, we humor her mother to say that, you know, you. you you really have some of Jamie in you, but she doesn't have one drop. And she's an equestrian. <laughs> and, and she is a, um, um, a hotshot uh, business consultant. Um, and she, a question. She just, and, and a question. She just returned from Davos, if you can believe that. Um, and, and she's an equestrian, and she uh, actually won a big uh, 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 meet a, a few weeks ago down in, in Florida. It's even when I know that she's gotten off the horse safely and has got her blue ribbon and, and she sends me the video to watch, I have my heart in my throat. I, 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 um, I find it very nerve wracking. But I've been, I've been doing this, running her from, from, from uh, stable to stable since she was a little girl. Um, and she's an, an amazing writer, a ri writer, but it just scares the daylights out of me. Writer, <laughs> not writer. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no writers, writers. No writers. And one wonders, having lived in, you know, growing up in a house with a, a father down in the basement saying, you know, can you please be quiet so I can get some work done? <laughs> Neither one of my children turned out to be writers. <laughs> <laughs> but they did stay with you during COVID. They had, like, like a lot of families, I mean, kids, came home. My, they were both working in New York and in, in March when everything went sideways in New York and there was nothing on the shelves. Everyone was getting sick. Um, my, Jamie reserved a car, was Hertz in Turtle Bay, get your butt over there, get in the car and get home. Um, they both brought COVID into the house. We were, we were quite the, 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 the COVID situation there for a few weeks. And then they, they you know, went and returned to their childhood rooms, like lots of kids their age, and were on Zoom calls all day, uh, working from home. My favorite thing to do is to just pop in unannounced. Um, and, and, you know, um, she, Lily's there with her, all her highfalutin um, clients that have hired her firm, and I just, you know, sit down next to her and, you know, drop in. Uh, but we had, what well, we had the children upstairs, me in the basement trying to write a book, and, and Jamie was the one level above me. We had a TV studio in the living room, um, and, and that was how we got through COVID. And but we look, we got uh, um, not not totally unscathed, um, but we got through it. Like a lot of families who lost a, a loved one, so no complaints.